Okay, so let's do page eight. Page eight, you've got one six by nine inch piece. That is going to be a large belly band again. And you've got a six and a half by eight centi eight, eight inches. Um, and that's going to be a flap to the left. And then you've got a seven and a half by seven and three quarters and two eight by seven and three quarters pieces. That is going to be your insert on the belly band. Okay, so let's start with the scoring. And we are going to score the belly band, which is the 6 by 9. Place the 9 to the top and score it half an inch. Turn it right over and the 9 to the top again and score it half an inch. Okay. Then you've got your six and a half by eight. Place the six and a half to the top and score at half an inch. Your seven and a half by seven and three quarters stays as is. Take your eight by seven and three quarters, place the eight to the top and score at is it going to be at zero at half an inch and the other one as well the eight to the top and score at half an inch and there we go let's see <clears throat> i'm going to just fold and burnish everything. Your insert. And flap. And your belly band. Okay, let's do the insert first. You're going to place some glue on your fold. And then place it on the right side of this piece here, the seven and three quarters by seven and a half, the seven and a half, yeah, seven and a half. And make sure everything is straight. Seven and a half by seven and three quarters. And then the other one on the other side. Choose like that on the left edge.
there you go the insert is done that will go into the billy band it's your billy band and your album you're going to place the billy band in the center from your page so you're going to place glue On the top and the bottom folds of course you can decide to place your belly band like that or like that if you place it like that you will have a flap up and your insert will go in like that if you decide to it like that you will have a flap to the left i think just to be different i'm going to place it like this oh if you can't put it like this sorry 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 you can't put it you have to put it like this oh man because i've got it like that and now i've got glue yeah let's just get this glue off here yeah? I love this glue. And there we go. And make sure everything is straight here. then let's place the flap that's got to go to the left if you place it to the left like I'm doing now you don't really need any closure as it will be lying to the bottom now if you place it on the other side it's going to flap open all the time and then you will need either a magnet or a closure or something like that but if you want to you can place a magnet right there and there just to keep it closed but not necessary and then, of course, you can when you oh, this is dry now. Place this in here. I think I've got some glue. Here's my ruler. place it like that with that as a flap or the other way around um, from that side with that as a flap and then it's pull out pull it out like Open it up, pull it out, have your photos, and you've got your flap with photos in there. But let's cover this now. I'm going to have to place a piece of paper. I just need to see what I've got left. I think that will be the one it fits exactly in there mm, and I need 
more pencil. There it is. So I just got to cut the length. pushing this through so that it covers my um, the, the folds that I've got on the inside and I'm just going to place glue here Then I will push it through from this side. And stick it down. And then I will just place some glue underneath here. And there you go, it's stuck down and my insert will go in easily. Just want to get some of this glue that oozed out here. Yeah? So, I've covered that. I'm going to have to cover this piece here. Mm. And I think I'm going to use this. What do you think this? No, it's too busy being that side and this side. But I think I'm going to use this side. Um, if you think it's too busy, use the other side. Or whatever you want. Whatever you've got left. Um, of course you, you've got the photo opportunity to place a photo on there. If you use the other side, you've got
that once again you can also use okay so now you've seen what I've done here I'm just going to stick it down and nobody will ever know nobody will ever know you don't know that I've did that wrong Down like that. And then photos, photos. You can cover because I think you've still got some paper left that you can cover it with. But I wanted to see. I still need to use this, but I've still got some. I want to cover this as well, so I'm going to place it in like. And I need to cover this piece here. Cut that piece looking for my these pieces. I'm going to okay, let's do this. I'm going to score this on that line and on that line. Then I will just burnish this if I can find my burnishing tool in this mess. it like that and maybe to the left have the line there and place that one there and use it like that yes I think so and I'm going to cover this quickly I've already made my marks I'm just going to cut it
Carmen, I measured it on this line here. Okay. I'll just place a name strip on there. cut once I'm sure I've got something that can go here. Yeah? Okay, and once again, you've got the opportunity. That one is going to go right in front. Remember, I'm going to raise it and place it here. Okay, so we are going to do the last piece now. Um, of course, here yeah, you've got photos, photos. Photos, photos, more photos, if you want to at the back, and this opens up like that, photos and photos, and I know I still need to put that there, I will put that there and now I'm going to do the last piece of my album see you now <laughs> 